Hello and welcome back to the XRP podcast. This video is just a short cutout from my how to make a Zahao node video. This video details how to connect your Evernode host to your Zahao node, both for Zahao node operators and Evernode hosts. In this video, we will also go over Evernode update 0.8.2 and how you can download and install it on your Evernode host. Please enjoy. But right before we get into this video, I actually have a special announcement to make. As of the, I don't know, I think it was the 6th of March, I went fully 100% full-time YouTube, all right? So YouTube is my full-time gig now. I'm so grateful to you guys for that, and because of that, I'm actually doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away eight prizes of $100 USD. It doesn't cost anything to enter. All you have to do is be a subscriber of mine and fill out the Google form in the description. Just search for giveaway Google form or something like that. I don't know. I'm bad with labeling these things, but it'll be hard to miss. Check the description. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast, and I am praying every day for what the future will bring. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the video. Take care. Let's stop kissing our own asses though and let's get an Evernode connected to this Zahao node and get to the part everybody wants to see. So to do this, we're going to enter the sudo nano command and then we're going to enter in the directory to the nginx file. Everything is done in here. That's why it's so important. You're going to scroll down to the allow list and just remember there are two allow lists inside of this file, okay? So you want to make sure you do it for the top one that you see, as well as the bottom one that you have to scroll down to see. When you are in this Nginx file and you're adding in a new Evernode host, all you need to do is get the regular IP address, the IPv4 address, and simply copy paste it. And then you can grab it and then you can add it to your Nginx file. When you are adding it to the Nginx file, if you do want to label it, if you have a lot of hosts and you want to label them, that's fine. But don't be like me and label them and forget to include the hashtag. You see what I'm doing on screen right here? I forget to write the hashtag. And because I did that, the program, when it's reading that for instructions, it thinks the label is part of the code. And because of that, when I run the Nginx test, now I have an error that pops up. So if you are going to label it, I want you to make sure that you always include a hashtag before you start writing any normal text. If you ever want to write any normal text to leave yourself reminders or labels or anything, just have that hashtag in front of it and it will save you miles and miles of pain. This is a very basic thing, but if you forget it, it can be a very cruel mistress to deal with. So now that we've corrected all our labels, we are just going to control O in order to save and then control X in order to exit. After that, we're going to run the Nginx test script again. I'm just going to copy and paste it from what I have. And now it says the syntax is okay. You see the difference? So now all we have to do is reboot the Nginx. Boom, we gave it a reboot. And now we will make sure it's running. Boom, it's still running. We are good to go. So anytime you add a Evernote host to your Zahao server, you don't have to reboot the entire VPS, but you do have to reboot the Nginx for it to take effect. For best practices too, if you are going to be making major edits, I would recommend rebooting the entire VPS at the end just to make sure there's no errors. Now, with the new Evernode update, updates are not manual and you have to apply an update script. The traditional Evernode update script won't work. So I have it included in the Google Doc for you. Simply copy and paste it from there. But make sure you update your Evernodes. Make sure you update them. Otherwise, you're going to have issues connecting to the Zahao nodes that you're building. And you will also risk losing your Evernode rewards in the future and possibly your rights to run an Evernode host at all, all right? 
if you do have an Evernote host, you can subscribe to their GitHub and you can be notified every time a new update comes out for you to update your Evernote host from now on. You can also fill out my Google form that I'm going to have in the description and that'll place you on my email list. And anytime an Evernote host update comes out, you will be notified. You will also be notified anytime that I release a new video or any other pieces of information or great opportunities that could help you out in the future. All right, now that we have our Evernote host updated, what you're going to do next is you're going to go to the last script in the Google Doc, and you are going to copy the Evernote config Zahoud command. And in the WSS section, you're going to add your WSS C name once again. Just follow what I'm doing, but replace XRP podcast dash one with your own domain name and then press enter. If you've done everything correctly, then it should start the reconfiguration. By the way, they misspelled that on the <laughs> they misspelled configuring on the message board. But after a couple seconds, it'll go through and you'll get the regular Evernote's host status screen. It'll also show you a country code now. My node has about six instances running currently, I believe. So I'm more than sufficient for the current network requirements. But the prerequisites now for the Evernote network is that if your Evernote host has less than three instances, then you will be penalized for that. So just make sure that your Evernote host follows the minimum spec requirements for the network. So the Evernote team has included a bunch of new features in this update as well. So some of those new features include an ability to just completely deregister your host directly without needing to actually install the full Evernote software. If you want to use that script, I will include it in the document as well. I'm not going to run it for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't want to deregister my host. You can also change your max transaction fee now during the installation or configuration of an Evernote host or through the command line interface as well. That way, during periods of network congestion, you can still get your transactions through and it's not an issue of missing heartbeats or anything like that or anything that could potentially damage the reputation of your host. Another feature I would really like to highlight right now, though, is the fallback Zahoud support. This is a game changer and an absolute banger. Thank you, Scott Chamberlain. This ensures uninterrupted connections through a fallback Zahoud server. So let's say you're someone who has access to two Zahoud nodes. That way, in the event that your primary Zahoud node goes down, then you can access your fallback one and you can stay online when others aren't and you can collect even more Evers rewards during these periods of downtime. You call it a period of downtime, I call it a period of great opportunity. It's all about perspective. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. In order to take advantage of this, it's very simple. You got to have access to, to Zahao nodes and you got to make sure both are configured properly. If you do get a Zahao node through me, or you get both through me, I actually provide a fallback node as well for you to use. But all that would need to be done on the node side is you just want to make sure that the Evernote host is on your node list in the Nginx file for both of these Zahao nodes. On the Evernode side, in order to set it up, then you would simply go to your Evernote host that you want to add a fallback to. All right, so I have this one right here. And I simply add the server URL. So it's going to be just like when I was adding the server URL for the initial Zahao node. I'm going to enter in my WSS for my backup server. And I should actually figure out what the domain name is for that too. I'm using an Evernode that I already have connected to a different Zahao node of mine. So I'm going to connect it to the Zahao node that we just made in my how to set up a Zahao node video. And I'm going to have that set up as the fallback node for this Evernode host. The setup is exactly like setting up a connection to a Zahao node. It's just now you have a fallback in the event of server maintenance or downtime or anything that happens. You can always be up. You can always be generating rewards. 
So that's everything you need to know about the new Evernote update in terms of how you will be updating from now on, how you can keep your server, your Evernote host active even during periods of downtime, and how you can change the Zahao node that you connect to. Again, if you would like to connect to one of my Zahao nodes, all you need to do is stake on Syncus DAO with code XRP or use the code in the description. Simply fill out the form, include the screenshot, as well as the amount of IP addresses you'd like me to add onto my Zahao nodes, and your connection will be live and active within 24 hours or less. Besides that, all you need to do is just run the Evernode status command just to confirm that you're online. Anytime you make some changes to your Zahao node, let's say you add other IP addresses for other Evernote hosts that you have, you can add as many Evernote hosts at once. All right, just make sure that you always run the test command and make sure that you reboot the Nginx every time. Each time you do this, there will be a little bit of a stutter. So just give it a couple seconds and then just check your Evernote hosts, check the ones that you already have running just to make sure everything is still working perfectly and you will be good to go. Remember, it's always better safe than sorry. I want to thank you so much for listening. I want to thank you so much for supporting the podcast for all these months if you're a new subscriber, all these years if you're an old subscriber, and all these seconds if you literally just found out about me. Don't forget to check out Syncus DAO as well as the links to all the free airdrops in the description of this video. Thank you so much. There will be so, so much more to come. God bless you. Be well, be safe. Take care.